This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this ABC 10 News update. The family of a Scripps Ranch high school student is suing San Diego Unified over its vaccine mandate. They say the district's requirements discriminate against religious beliefs. The family says under the mandate, their daughter must either abandon her faith or enroll in independent online study. The district approved the mandate last month. It requires students 16 and older to be fully vaccinated by December 20th as a requirement for in-person learning. Medical exemptions will be allowed, but not personal belief exemptions. The district says they do not comment on pending litigation. The NTSB has released its preliminary report on the deadly Santee plane crash that killed two people earlier this month. It found the pilot, Dr. Sugata Das, had been in communication with air traffic control up until one minute before his twin engine Cessna crashed into two homes in a neighborhood. That crash killed Dr. Das along with UPS driver Steve Kruger, who was making deliveries at the time. The cause of the crash is expected to be in the final report. New from overnight, a semi-truck crash leading to the closure of lanes on the 805. Semi-truck pulling two tankers struck the barriers on the southbound 805. That's where the 805 meets the 8. The tanker trailers overturned, blocking several lanes. Fortunately, the tankers were empty, but a driver did crash into the overturned semi. The driver of the truck was not hurt, but it's not clear how the other driver is doing after being assessed by paramedics. All right, let's check in with Vanessa Paz as we try to get through this Tuesday. Vanessa? All right, almost to Friday, but not quite. All right, uh, the storm system that brought us record breaking rain has moved well into the east, and now we're just left with remnants of it. They, and uh, that's causing partly cloudy skies along the beaches and even uh, some low level clouds through the inland areas that will clear out and mix out as we progress through the afternoon. We'll top out in the mid to upper 60s along the beaches, upper 60s, low 70s through the valleys and the mountains will remain breezy. So we'll be cool and windy with gusts peaking up to 30 miles per hour at times. Inland highs today are going to top out again, as I mentioned, near 70 degrees. And as far as today, it's looking like the coolest day of our five day outlook. We are going to heat things up as high pressure develops and offshore flow returns. Virginia. Wow, a lot of up and down there. Thank you, Vanessa. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Chaw.